Hey there, metalheads. Welcome back to my YouTube channel here on YouTube. And I'm here for a sequel video to my top 10 Megadeth songs. So yeah, welcome to top 10 Megadeth songs part 2. Now about a month ago I had top 10 Megadeth songs and I promised you guys a part 2. So other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, number 10 is Blackmail the Universe from the album The System Has Failed and it's the opening track to that album and I think The System Has Failed is one of Megadeth's most underrated albums. That's just my opinion. But yeah, Blackmail the Universe though on the other hand, I hear some other Megadeth fans talking about this song. So it's pretty much a fan favorite and I can definitely see why because it's a great song. Now, I don't think it's one of their best, but it's still one of my favorites from Megadeth. So it explains why it's coming in at number 10. Still a great song though, nonetheless. Really enjoy the riffs and Dave's vocals of course, it's a really great song from a really underrated album. Alright, number 9 is the title track to their album Countdown to Extension and this is a really great title track and one of Megadeth's best title tracks, I gotta say that. Just a really fantastic song and a deep cut from the album because it isn't one of the singles and I think the song is kind of underrated, if you know what I mean. Now, I know many people would argue with me that the album itself is overrated, but the title track is underrated, at least in my opinion it is, if you guys know what I'm trying to say here, because I don't see many Megadeth fans putting this song in top 10 videos or any time I'm mentioning Megadeth songs. So yeah, Countdown to Extension, the title track is coming in at number 9. Alright, number 8 is I'll Get Even from the album Cryptic Writings, and Cryptic Writings is a great album. One of my favorites from them, if I'm being quite honest. Another underrated Megadeth album. But yeah, I'll Get Even is a really great song now. I, again, I don't think it's one of their best songs, but it's still a really good song. It's really catchy. It's still a great song, though, of course. I really like that song, and it's one of my favorites from Cryptic Writings. Just a really great song. Okay, number seven is The Conjuring from the album Peace Sells But Who's Buying and man, those riffs on this song are fucking amazing, if I'm being honest. Just some of Megadeth's best riffs, if I'm being honest here. Just love the riffs on The Conjuring, just a fantastic song though, overall. One of the best songs on Peace Sells But Who's Buying. Just one of my favorites from the album. So, yeah, just a really fantastic song. But those riffs catch your attention. If you're a Megadeth fan and you don't like this song, then I don't know what's wrong with you because The Conjuring is fantastic. Gotta love, gotta love those riffs on it. Fantastic song, of course, overall there. Alright, number six. Whose Life Isn't Anyways from their album 13 and now. When people rank their albums, they usually have 13 near the bottom, but I can't judge that because I haven't heard the full album, but I have heard a few songs from it, and yeah, Whose Life Isn't Anyways is a really good song, and yeah, don't have much to say about it, but it's still a great song from Megan Death. Alright, number five is another really underrated Megan Death song. Now, many people might argue that the album it's from is overrated, but I kind of disagree with that because Euthanasia, I feel like it's, over, it's not an overrated album. In my opinion, I think it's underrated, but I respect your opinion either way. But yeah, The Killing Road is from the album Euthanasia, and it's a really great song. I really enjoy everything about it. The vocals, the riffs, it's just a pretty catchy song now. I like how the way Dave says the song's lyrics within the chorus. I just really like how Dave says something about money in the chorus. It's 
pretty funny, in my opinion, but yeah, it's still a great song though, either way. So yeah, number five is The Killing Road, and it's from the album Euthanasia. Alright, number four, sorry guys, I keep looking down, my list is right here. But yeah, number four is Tornado of Souls from Rust and Peace. Man, Tornado of Souls. That riff, that opening riff caught my attention right away when I first heard the song. Probably a year or so ago, just a really fantastic track. And one of the best songs on Rust in Peace, and probably another fan favorite from this album, since Rust in Peace is a really great album, and a lot of people's favorite Megadeth album. But yeah, Tornado of Souls from that very album is fucking amazing. And a masterpiece at this point, because the album is about 30 years old. Or it'll be, some, it'll be 30 sometime this year in 2020, so yeah. Rust in Peace album will be 30 sometime this year. Fantastic. Really great album, but yeah, Tornado of Souls is a damn masterpiece. That's how I look at it. Fantastic fucking song. So, yeah. Other than that, though, let's move on to number three. Alright, number three. Out of all of the songs from this album, I picked Lying in State. And Lying in State is from Dystopia. And in my opinion, Dystopia is the modern version of Rust in Peace. Just my opinion. But yeah, Lying in State is in at number three, and it's from that one, Dystopia. And man. It's hard for me to find which song to put in this top 10 video from Dystopia because the whole album is fantastic. Seriously, it is. I need to hear the album more though, if you know what I mean, because I haven't heard much of it, but yeah, I definitely need to check it out though, because what I've heard from it, it's a modern rest in peace. But yeah, Lying in State though is a really great song and kind of underrated song again. So yeah, I just really enjoy that sound of Megadeth in the song. It's fantastic. You can tell it's modern and mainstream, but man, still an amazing song. And it had to make the list. Just a fantastic Megadeth song, that's all I'm going to say. And many people should check it out if they haven't heard the song yet. Alright, now number two is Prince of Darkness from the album Risk. And if you guys saw my top 10 worst metal albums of all time video, you guys will know that I had Risk in there. But that doesn't mean I hate the album. But yeah, Prince of Darkness from that album is coming in at number 2. And yeah, Prince of Darkness is easily my favorite song on Risk. But yeah, Crush Them from that album is pretty good as well. But yeah, Prince of Darkness though takes the cake for me as being a favorite from that album because I really enjoy everything about Prince of Darkness, the riffs, the vocals, it's a really heavy song, seriously. I know people say that Risk is more of a pop rock album or more of a rock album than a metal album, but I understand that, but yeah. To me, Prince of Darkness is still a metal song. So heavy and catchy, head making the whole fucking time you're listening to it. Just having a great time. So yeah, I definitely really enjoy the song. It has been one of my favorite Megadeth songs of all time. So that's why it explains, that explains why it's coming in at number two in this video or on this list. But number one, let's go ahead and move on to number one. All right, guys, number one. Number one is Skin O My Teeth from Countdown to Extension. Now, I know in the song it says Skin of My Teeth, but the title track is Skin. I mean, not the title track. I meant the title of the song. Sorry, guys. But yeah, the title of the song is Skin O My Teeth, but I know in the song itself it says Skin of My Teeth. But either way, this is a great song, and it's the opener to Countdown to Extension. And I think that's a really great way to open up the album. Seriously. Really great song. And yeah, I don't have much else to say about Skin of My Teeth, but it's definitely got to be my number one, though, for this list, because 
it's a really great song and a fan favorite, and I can see why, because it's a great song. But other than that, though, guys, that's all I got for the follow-up video to Top 10 Megadeth Songs, and it's been Top 10 Megadeth Songs Part 2. And yeah, guys, let me know what your Top 10, Top 20, 30, 40 Megadeth Songs are, because I want to know your opinion. And yeah, other than that, though, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Stay heavy, stay metal, rock the fuck on, and I'm out here, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care, and yeah, peace.